hello friends in this video we are going to learn about types of earthquake okay and uh, also about the types of earthquake waves i have uh, told you what is an earthquake and i have also discussed uh, somewhere not discussed but uh, yeah somewhere um, the reference of earthquake waves has come in this video we are going to learn that properly and its types also okay so the first thing we are going to learn is types of earthquakes what are the types of earthquakes there are three types of earthquakes the first one is shallow focus means the focus will be not very deep it will be shallow earthquake having depth of focus up to 55 kilometers or 0 to 3 miles as so are called focus are called earthquake of shallow focus means when the depth of focus is about 55 kilometer or and in miles it is 0 to 30 then that is called shallow focus earthquake this is more violent at surface because uh, see i have made a earth here this is a point a shallow focus this is a shallow focus point so its uh, reason of reason will be small okay means it will affect a small area see from here to here but uh, yeah its its destruction will be violent because the energy lost by the, these waves will energy less energy is lost by these waves okay and while moving and less energy is lost and the second type of earthquake is intermediate focus when depth of focus is around 55 to 300 kilometer and in miles it is about 30 to 150 miles okay and the last one is deep focus and the focus depth is around 300 to 650 kilometer and in miles it is 150 to 450 miles so such earthquakes are called deep focus earthquake and these earthquakes are less violent and affect a big area see this is a diagram here this is a deep focus uh, why it will be less violent because it will be less violent because uh, traveling the when the waves travel a distance from here to here it will lose more energy as compared to the shallow focus that's why these type of uh, deep focus earthquake are uh, less violent than the shallow focus earthquake but this will affect a large area you can see here here so from here to here this will affect a large area and this will affect a smaller area but this will be more violent as the energy lost by and these these type these waves are less and energy lost by these waves are more therefore uh, shallow focus uh, earthquake will be more violent and deep focus earthquake will be less violent but the shallow focus earthquake will affect a smaller area um, as compared to the uh, and deep focus earthquake okay so this was all about the types of earthquake now we are going to learn about earthquake waves what are earthquake waves we also call them seismic waves during an earthquake seismic waves are generated which is spread outwards in all direction from the focus and these are of three types see if this is earth this is focus from here waves are generated in all direction and the waves generated during an earthquake are called seismic waves and these waves are of three kinds the first one is primary waves the second one is secondary waves and the third one is surface waves the primary waves are in short called as p waves secondary as s waves and surface as l waves okay so first we are going to learn what is a p wave okay so p wave are basically longitudinal in nature so longitudinal means wave that vibrate in a direction uh, in which the particles uh, okay longitudinal wave is a wave in which the vibration of particle is in the direction of the motion of the wave as in sound waves so you see i have made a sound wave here so there are compressions and rarefaction compression and rarefaction if wave is moving in this direction so the particles are also vibrating in this direction okay so such waves are called longitudinal waves and these waves travel in solids liquids and gases also these waves travels fastest and have short wavelength and high frequency frequency means number of cycles per second okay this was all about the primary waves now we are talking about s waves what are s waves s waves are transverse waves and what are transfer waves um, see when i throw when i throw a stone in water so the particle oscillate up and down up and down up and down but the waves waves is transferred in this direction in all direction and the particles are and particles oscillate up and down up and down up and down okay so 
so the waves in which oscillations are oscillation of particle are perpendicular to motion of waves are called transverse waves okay and uh, so s waves are transverse waves these are also known as shear waves these waves travel through solid only not in liquid if this wave does not travel in liquid these waves do not travel in liquid and these travel in solid only and slow in comparison to vp wave its velocity is slow as compared to the vp wave this wave has high frequency and short wavelength okay and these waves are found in water surface now let us talk about the l waves what are l waves l waves are surface waves s waves are secondary waves p waves are primary waves l waves are surface waves these waves are also transverse waves means oscillations of particle are perpendicular to the motion of wave when p and s waves reach the earth surface they are converted into l waves what are l waves when p and s waves reach surface and there they move they are known as l waves or surface waves these waves travel along surface and cause earthquake and no and these are also known as rayleigh's wave as rayleigh rayleigh was a scientist who found them and these wave has velocity and these wave have low velocity and their velocity is less than p and s wave they have low frequency and long wavelength and these well these waves are the responsible for the destruction on earth's surface this was all about the types of earthquakes and earthquake waves and their types so these are your notes